Hi everyone and a happy new year. I'm just putting a quick video out, it'll be a short one about uh, how I'm getting on with matched betting. Um, if you see my first video I started last month with a view to making some additional money while I'm out and about. Uh, I'm look I'm I'm looking to try and make anywhere between three and five hundred quid will be sufficient to actually pay spend money um or petrol money, diesel. Whichever, whichever way you look at it, um, there are, I think I mentioned in the last video, a couple of um, forums on Profit Accumulator, which I joined. Uh, one of them of which explains and gives you all the offers that you need to do to make £300 a month. And there's another one that's actually £1,000 a month, which obviously is appealing, but... Um, I might get onto that one, but to start with... I don't want to spend a great deal of time on it. I've been spending about half an hour of my time every morning. And um, as you can see here, I just wanted to run through how I'm doing. So the way it works is, is you, you can't lose on these bets that you do. And they're like absolutely no, the majority I'd say are no risk. And it's up to you whether you want to stay on the no risk ones or not. I've stayed on the no risk ones. I'm currently working through the sign up offers. So you can see here. Um, it, it, this is the dashboard for Profit Accumulator. You can see my total profits, £480. I started on the 2nd of... Well, I started on the 1st of December, but I only placed my first bet on the 2nd of December. The 1st of December, I was just sort of um, registering with Profit Accumulator and um, having to read through bits and pieces once I'd registered just to see what I do. So I didn't actually start betting until the 2nd of December. You can see I've made £480. So... Um, 56 of that's been this month, January, the last couple of days, because I've put a few bets on uh, yesterday and today. Today, you can see I've made £32 on bets. And last month, I made 423 So even if you said 400 for December, um, I didn't actually... I slowed up quite a bit. It was my birthday in the middle of December on the 15th, so I didn't do anything sort of from then. And, and I didn't really pick it up until about... Boxing Day, 26th again. I did do a few, but I didn't do a great deal. And the majority of the income for this 423 anyway was the first half of December. Probably a good 300 of it. So you can see here I've done 36 out of 68 sign-up offers. Uh, they are in order of complexity. They start with the easiest ones. I'm not going to go in them because obviously I don't want to be in trouble from Profit Accumulate. I'm hoping it's okay to show this page. I mean, bottom line so far, I've been nothing but impressed with, you know, um, the, the kind of opportunity going on here. But the idea is you work through the sign-up offers. I have actually started working through casino offers as well, so I haven't got a breakdown of that yet. But, again, they're all risk-free. Uh, it's where you, you sign up to a casino and you get free spins on the slots or free hands in blackjack, whatever and um you you make money off them obviously the casino ones they, they can be kind of random you can like make nothing or you can make quite a bit depending on how much you win on the actual offers and then the reload offers are offers that you go through these are your sort of bread and butter once you've done the sign up offers because obviously once you've done the sign up offers that's a that's a one off you've signed up you got your offer and that's kind of the bookies hooked you into um your account with them so they, they but they do give you reload offers as well after that uh, you might get a, a free bet every now and again you can get them through email or what profit accumulator looks really good at and i'm not into the reload offers yet you can see i've done none out of 142 is when you click on the reload offers it shows you everything that you should be doing it's got like it's really up to date it'll show you um special offers or bets that you should be uh, doing today for example um so as you can see um i've made 480 pounds while i've been doing this i'm going to go into the um quickly go into the profit tracker it's called or you can go into it from here or you, or you can click up here or you can go into it from the from the menu here and profit tracker at the bottom so if i just go into the profit tracker there, i just want to show you what that 480 pounds made up of um and all these these all the bets I've put on, you can see here. Um, so 
So if we just start from the top, you can see here on the 2nd of December, like I said, my first bet was with Coral. I signed up to them. Um, I placed a qualifying bet, which was like a £5 bet. And so I lost 12 pence on that bet. But the idea there is you place a £5 bet and then you get a free £20 bet. And on the free £20 bet, obviously, which they're giving you for free, you're not paying that. All you spent with Corals is £5 and lost your 12 pence. So I was actually... After the qualifying bet, but before the free bet, I was actually 12 pence down. So I only had um, £4.88 of my £5 left. Um, but after the free bet, which is a £20 free bet, um, you, you're back in lane. If you don't know what that means, just look at my previous video. It explains it a bit. There's plenty of online tutorials. In fact, the best thing to do sign up for a seven day trial on profit accumulate and then uh, you'll get told exactly what to do from the experts and that's probably the best way of doing it you can even cancel after the first seven days and also if you want when you sign up to the seven day trial if you use the link in the description and um, you'll actually get 25 pounds as well and i'll also get 25 pound i'll just add that um so even after your seven day trial if you wanted to do this for another month profit accumulate i ch charge you um 25 pounds a month which based on the £480 I've made so far, I haven't got any problem with that at all. Um, but that £25 you would get for using my referral code would actually pay for your first and cover your first month's um, your first month's uh, subscription with uh, Profit Accumulator. So as you can see on the second bet, I backed and laid um, a £20 free bet and I won £13.82 on that. Um, so on corals itself i was up um i had from my first two bets there you can see i was up about well 13 pounds 70 i made from corals you can see it there it keeps a running total here so as we go down you can see i've done a, a, a sign up offer with bet fred ladbrokes william hill um blah 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 you can see i've done five i'm up to i've got five pages here now um and this month is january the 56 46 um, but you can see all the negative numbers are your qualifying bets for bet Fred I lost 34p but then on the actual free bet I won 21 and as you go through each bet it tells you exactly how much you should be winning um, so basically on a five pound bet you should be losing about I think it's about 10p to 20 is it 20 p it's five percent so it'd be 25p and on um, a free bet, and this was a £20 free bet, you should be trying to recoup 75% um, of the free bet. So there I should have really had about 15 quid. So that should have been minus 25p, and that should have been about 15 quid. You can wait. I think I was just a bit eager on this one. I was trying to get a bet on for that day. You can you know, you know, can wait until uh, it shows you in Profit Accumulator what bets you should be putting on. It orders them by the best one. Um so it's it, you know it's it's not going to be exactly 15 quid but there are thereabouts a couple of quid below or a couple of quid above um this one for example this i think this was a uh, i can't remember if that was a 30 pound bet and i got 21 so that's that's reasonably good as well um so you can see all these negatives are small losses for the qualifying bets and that's the way that sort of match betting works you do a qualifying bet and you lose you aim to lose five percent of the qualifying bet to get yourself a free bet and then use the free bet to win 75 percent of your free bet which is the money you're getting for free from the boogies you can see here with william hill i put a qualifying bet on lost 34p and um i got two free bets which is part of their sign up offer and i won 12 25 on one and 11 89 the other so there i was about 30, uh, 20 22 23 pound up 24 sky bet lost 14 and then won 50 uh, sorry lost 14p and then won 15 pound um so you can go if i click on the last page here you can see everything up until today bets i've got on today so there's the last few i've done today so um, I've put a bit more information in them until they settle because these these bets here, these two bets at the bottom here, haven't settled yet. So they get they that's a horse race for the day, and this one's a, a, a an accumulated a, accumulator uh, a treble uh, on football matches playing today. So once they settle today, I'll probably come back in here tomorrow and just shorten all that down. I mean, I kind of know, and then. 
calculate any of the any discrepancy in the profit because um, obviously uh, depending on whether your back bet wins or your lay bet wins this number is something slightly different so here for example I put these numbers in here so if this bet here with Betway if if I win the back bet with Betway then I win I'm 15 pounds and eight pay up whereas if my bet with Betway loses and I win on the lay bet um, I'm 15 pounds six pay up so I'll just put the lowest one in here to start with so it's the worst case scenario so if that bet does win with Betway tomorrow when I come in I'll just change this description to be uh, just sign up offer like you've seen on the previous pages and I'll change I'll change this number to 15 pounds and 8p because that's my true profit um, down here you can see the balances um, I've got at the moment um, I've got a bank balance of 277 pounds it's always best to keep a bank account separate for this kind of thing just so you don't get it mixed up with all your sort of other income and out ones and then you've got all you basically end all the um you just add all the bookies in here so you can see how much i've got in each book i've got 512 quid in smarts which is one of the exchanges that it uses and there's a the total there at the bottom and then to add another bookie you just click on this button here and you can add the bookies in here so you just keep a list of you keep a list of everything in here I was going to use separate spreadsheets and everything to do all this, but this software, it, it, it's simple. Well, it's not software, so it's part of the website, actually. But it, it's simple, but it, it works, so I've just been using this for now. You can filter by month, January, December, and then you can also filter by bookmaker if you want to see what bets you put on with, with which bookmaker and how much you've made per book bookmaker. So if I put, say, um, Coral in there, for example, um, and filter that should bring up at least the first two free bets unless I've placed any other bets yeah so I've placed a couple um, the so that's my first uh, sign up bet this one here was a promo offer so I, I think that was a place a five pound bet get a five pound bet free so I've placed the five pound bet which is uh, I lost 13 P and I've got the five pound free bet still to use um, which I need to probably use by the end of January. So that's one thing you'd have to remember to use your free bets. And I normally put them on straight away, but this kind of thing reminds that I haven't put that one on. But I keep a little to-do list anyway of what I need to do. Because sometimes, especially when the qualifying bets, uh, once you get your free bets, some of the sign-up offers, the, qualify, the free bets will sort of expire after about seven days. So you have to use them reasonably quickly. Whereas this one here that I've got here, outstanding off this qualifying bet I think it was the end of January or 28 days I can't remember which and then the casino off as a separate thing altogether I'll be uh, probably waiting on free uh, spins or something for that one um, but then you can see that the profit for even with the three losses and the one uh, positive there one profit and three losses I've still got a, a net gain of £13.22 profit with uh, corals so that's in a nutshell. I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. I don't want to go into all the software in case I get into, I can't show you any of the sort of offers or anything because that's obviously uh, work that Profit Accumulator has done. I'm not going to get in there with anything like that. I'll fall foul of them because, uh, like I say, it's really, so far, it's a really good system. Obviously, I think I said in the last video that it's going to be dependent on the sort of reload offers and how, how the longevity of it. Obviously, it's great doing these sign up offers, but. Uh, once I get going and finish the sign up offers, if I go back to the dashboard, I'm, I'm, I'm more than halfway through the sign up offers now. You can see yeah, I've done 36 of the 68. Um, but once I'm finished those and I'm on the reload offers, uh, that's going to be the proof in the pudding as to whether it's going to be sustainable and I can keep making. Like I say, I was happy enough with £300 a month just to get some extra bills, especially if I'm only um, spending half an hour or so. Um, each day doing it. I mean, to be honest, it's it's not it's not like working or anything. It's just sort of faffing about. But it obviously is good to um, use your time efficiently and make sure you're putting bets on that are, you know that are giving you a profit. Um, you can see down here I've got certain um, offers in progress, um, and then your pro profit here. I've got a couple of good bookmakers as well. That's where they stop offering you any further. Um, offers a bit disappointed to be gubbed with William Hill but I think it's 
Uh, one thing at the moment, I'm, I'm sort of travelling around. I'm in Spain at the moment, so I have to use a VPN. So I don't know if that's part and parcel of it. I've got problems with a couple of bootmakers, like creating accounts as well. So I've just put them to one side for the moment, and I'm going to sort of pick them up when I get back into the UK. Seem to have a problem. They seem to have a problem with you um, using, it, you know, betting when you're abroad. Basically, it's a bit like <laughs> data roaming with uh, mobile phones. I'll not go into that in too much detail at the minute though. But I I will be putting out more videos on how I'm getting on through January once I finish the sign up offers and get on the reload offers. I'm gonna see, like I say, how sustainable how sustainable it is. Um so I think positives, uh there is money there to be made quickly and um and not having to spend too much time doing so. Um, another positive is currently in the UK, uh, I say currently, it's always been the case, is you don't pay any income tax whatsoever on uh, gambling income. So that £480 profit there is totally tax free. <laughs> don't even need to declare it or anything like that. I know it's different in places like the States, United States, where I think they do have to pay tax on any gambling or any prize money that they make. Um, probably a negative would be, I think, and I haven't, but I think if you, you've got to treat this as, um, you've got to treat it as a not, not a gambling side of things. Uh, I think what I'm trying to say there is, I think if you've got already got a gambling problem, this is probably not the best thing for you to do. If you, if you've ever had gambling problems in the past or you, or you, or you, or you think you might have at the minute, cause you'll just get in you'll just probably you, you could potentially get into like just punting and putting money on and not laying them off i mean the idea here is you put say 20 quid on a bet to come in and then you lay it on the other side so you can't lose for example you know you've only got two outcomes uh, like say liverpool can win a football match or they won't win a football match either they'll draw it or they'll lose it being the opposite side of the coin of where they win it and you basically you, you put a back a bet on Liverpool to win the match and you put a lay bet on them to either draw or lose the match and there's no other outcome unless the game doesn't go ahead and then you just get your money back for both bets anyway um, but you know there's no other, once that game kicks off there's no other outcome Liverpool either have to win that game or Liverpool will draw or lose that game and as long as you've got those two outcomes, and there's actually three outcomes, but you you've got you've got them not to win and not to lose. So there's only two real outcomes, and as long as you've got them covered, you're going to win money. You're going to you're actually going to lose money on your back bet and win money on your lay bet, or vice versa. But at the end of the day, because you've been given that money for free, you're always going to be up. And that's the way this works. So I think. You, at the, probably the only downside I can see at the moment, um, and like I say, I've never had like a gambling problem. Never, I've never been that much into gambling. I just can't be bothered with it really. So, I'm not. It's not going to start. This isn't going to start me making daft bets on like sort of you know putting bets on without laying on the other side. Um, so if you know you can get past that, then I can't see any reason why you wouldn't do this. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I'll see as I go if there's any more positives or negatives. But at the, at the minute, the positives far away than neg any negatives I've found so far. Um, so I'll leave it at that. But if you want to use my, uh, like I say, referral fee, I, I'll put a link down to my VPN I use as well. Because... Um, Got got away got away with most um, bookies. There's a couple of bookies out there um, who seem to have either better or different uh, checks on the VPN side of things. There's a couple I can't sign up with, and there's like I say, William Hill. I've been gubbed, and one of them actually um, closed my account because in the email they mentioned a VPN and they thought I wasn't in the UK, for example. So. Um, another one that I can't use but once I get back to the UK I'll just set accounts up then especially for the ones where I've never been able to set the account up in the first place um, so I'll leave it that and um, but if you do want to try it good luck uh, not much luck to it um, it's just a case of going through the sign up, sign up offers and then collecting the money thanks now cheers bye